gradually the urine flows from kidneys ureter enters into urinary bladder now gradually when the urine is increasing inside urinary bladder there are stretch receptors in the wall of urinary bladder which will convey the impulses to brain and after gradual when when the stretching has increased to maximum extent impulses coming from brain so will help in contraction of detrusor muscles and relaxation of the smooth muscles present near the urethral orifice so you can see contraction of detrusor muscles and the internal urethral sphincter the sphincters undergo relaxation so contents present in urinary bladder is pushed outside the act of emptying of urinary bladder is called as micturish it is called micturish right and if you see the composition of urine composition of urine 1 to 1.5 liters of urine is produced per day in a healthy person 1 to 2 liters roughly it's 1 1 and 1/2 liters of urine is produced now if i take that urine and see its composition we have seen say once filtration has occurred you can see lot of substances are reabsorbed back i told you around 70 to 80% of water 15% 85% of water here and as much water here some 10% of water so by the time we have come here 99% of salts and water is taken back into body and only 1% of the filtered fluid is actually appearing in the final urine out of 180 liters only 1 or 1 and 1/2 liters of urine is coming outside but still if i take that water 96% again see the composition of that urine 96% is what 2% is urea 2% is percent is all other substances now some substances after they are filtered they are effectively taken back at uh, several places say like glucose amino acids some salts vitamins they are completely reabsorbed glucose amino acids vitamins they are completely reabsorbed they are called high threshold substances but there are low threshold substances some substances like urea uric acid urea so they are reabsorbed in a small quantity they are called low threshold substances but there are also a threshold substances a threshold substances which are filtered they, they are not reabsorbed they are simply pushed outside they are called a threshold example creatinine now if you see the composition still 96% is water 2% is urea all other substances make up only 2% the remaining 2% includes salts uric acid creatinine hmm? other substances include apart from urea urea we have already discussed out of 46 and half grams of urea which is filtered here half of that is excreted per day per day uric acid 1 and half to 2 grams per day creatinine 1.8 grams per day yeah. so uric acid creatinine they are also seen as part of urine but the major excretory product is urea that's why human urea human urine is supposed to be ureotelic animal the ph before that they, they, there is the color of urine is yellow in color that is because of urochrome or urobilin urochrome or urobilin it is a degradatory product from urobilinogen which is come from bilirubin Yeah. So bile pigment from bilirubin, from bilirubin, urobilinogen is formed. From that, urochrome is a pigment which is entering into urine. So that gives yellow coloration to urine. 
urinoid. So th that is an aromatic substance present in urine which gives that characteristic smell to urine. The pH of urine is pH is around 6, 4 and half to 6. It might vary, but it is acidic. The specific gravity is 1.03 to 1.04. That is the specific gravity of urine. We are seeing the composition of urine. Out of 180 liters of glomerular filtrate formed, much of that is absorbed, 99% is absorbed. Only 1 to 1.5 liters of urine is produced per day. And if you take the composition of that urine, 96% is water, 2% contains urea, that makes up around 23.5 grams of urea per day. The remaining all substances, salts, uric acid, creatinine, vitamins, vitamins, hormones, I mean the, the steroid hormones, the extra vitamins and all other ways, they make up less than 2%. The color of urine, is yellow in color because of urochrome or urobilin. It is a degradatory product coming from bilirubin. Bilirubin itself comes when red blood cells are broken down. The characteristic smell of urine is because of urinoid, a substance called urinoid. The pH of urine is 6, 4.5 to 6. So it's acidic. The specific gravity is 1.03 to 1.04.